What is conservation? In the last video, we learned about food webs and how they're made up of lots of food chains and how many animals and plants are connected through these webs. Did you notice that the food chains were all in different places? These are all called habitats. A habitat is a place where an animal or plant lives, like its home, but it also includes the natural environment around where it lives. Today we're going to talk about the sea. The seas and the oceans are very large bodies of salty water. You may be wondering, what actually is the difference between the sea and the ocean? Well, all seas are part of oceans, but they tend to be smaller areas closer to land. They are more shallow than the ocean. There are five oceans in the world, the Atlantic, Pacific, Indian, Arctic and Antarctic oceans. But there are lots of seas all around the world. Oceans and seas take up 71% of all the space on Earth. That means there's only 29% left for the land. Oceans are so big and are home to an amazing diversity of life. If we remember back to our food chains, in the sea there are plants which produce their own food, like this seagrass. There's also seaweed, which is an algae, and these are simple aquatic plants. There's also tiny microscopic animals called plankton. Some of these produce their own food and are called phytoplankton, while others eat the phytoplankton, and they're called zooplankton. These are some of the tiniest animals in the ocean. The biggest animal in the ocean is the blue whale, and is actually the biggest animal that has ever lived. It can get up to 30 metres long. Strangely, blue whales feed on plankton, the tiniest animals, so they must have to eat a lot. In the ocean and sea, there are lots of very strange and interesting animals, like jellyfish. Jellyfish actually have two parts to their life. One is when they're floating around like jellyfish, but before this they were actually attached to the seabed and called a polyp. The polyp creates several jellyfish which grow into adults, and once these reproduce, the tiny larvae sink to the floor and grow into a polyp. One animal we think of in the sea is fish. There are lots of different fish in the sea, small and large. Smaller fish are eaten by larger fish. And by seals. And polar bears. There are many animals that rely on the sea, even if they don't live here all the time, like otters that eat sea urchins, and also penguins that eat fish. Coral reefs occur in warm, shallow seas. This guy is a clownfish. Clownfish has a special relationship with the sea anemone. The anemone gives the clownfish somewhere to hide when predators come around, and in return the clownfish protects the sea anemone from being eaten by sea slugs. This is called a symbiotic mutualistic relationship because both benefit. The ocean can also be very, very deep. The deepest part of the ocean is very dark and very cold and it's called the Mariana Trench and is 10,984 metres deep. Life down here can get pretty strange. Animals often emit light to be able to communicate. However, we still have lots and lots to learn about this deep, dark ocean. The seas and oceans are fascinating places with an amazing abundance of life, all just below the surface. 